Hi everyone, welcome back to the Acne channel. Today we'll be talking about how birth control can affect acne. If you're at a stage where you're looking at different acne treatment options, birth control is something that's just gonna pop up and that people talk about because birth control is driven by estrogen and progesterone. And as you may know, it's used to treat hormonal acne. The excess glands that produces acne is controlled by hormones. So a treatment option would be another hormonal treatment. I've had some friends that raved about birth control, kind of how it saved their face and how um, their acne got better the moment they took birth control. You know, they're somewhere in the middle of, yeah, I had a flare up when I started taking birth control, but then it, you know, got better. Acne is a skin condition that's because there is excess production of oil and sebum. The sebum will clog your pores and then that promotes bacterial growth and it will contribute to acne. The production of sebum and oil is because there is this hormone of testosterone and so there is a relationship between hormones and acne. For pregnant women, because of the hormonal shift during the pregnancy, it's common for them to experience flare-ups like I did when I was pregnant. And um, for people with acne-prone skin, like me as well, I do have flare-ups during that time of the month. There are three FDA-approved birth control pills, so they are Orthotricycline, Estrostep, and Yaz. I will say that before I went on birth control to treat my acne, I did everything under the sun first. I renovated my skincare routine. I used things that were, you know, more gentle and, you know, more specific to acne prone skin. I ate better. I exercised. You know, these are all the different types of approaches that I recommend you taking, you know, before you sign up for birth control. For me, it was a little bit intimidating to take something every day. It can mess up your body sometimes. You know, your body reacts differently to hormonal pills like birth control and just because your friend experienced this doesn't mean that you're going to experience the same thing so I recommend you know take your time to try out different ways and how to treat your acne before going to the doctor and you know saying I need birth control for my acne so there are things to consider before taking birth control like the risks some risks of taking birth control includes you know blood clots mood changes depression I would avoid birth control pills if you have high blood pressure which is hypertension birth control pills is something that i can't take anymore because after i got pregnant i have hypertension now and that's not even an option uh, for me anymore so i am relying on a very immaculate <laughs> skincare regimen to keep you know my acne at bay because like I said you know if you have pre-existing conditions you know birth control sometimes it's not even an option for you um, and if it is an option there are you know risks to consider like when I was taking birth control my mood swing is just like you know up and down up and down so that is something to look out for or something to really think about before you sign up for birth control i would say that after three months if you don't see any improvements then you want to go back to the drawing board and may perhaps stop because that is enough time for your body to kind of you know self adjust with your birth control for me it took a month and a half so not necessarily three months thankfully i did not break out and i think it's because you know my skincare routine is consistent i consistently do things that are good for my acne prone skin but i know so many of my friends who got off birth control and had a flare-up or started breaking out so like i said your body is going to react differently okay so that's it i hope that this video is helpful please subscribe to the acne channel
channel. Thank you again for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.